couple of years ago, I was in Nigeria, and the Christian leaders that invited me to come and work with them presented me with this amazing uh, African-style scarf, which I have kept and I'm wearing today because I'm actually getting ready to go back now to Africa. A team of four of us are preparing to leave uh, the day after Thanksgiving, and we're going to meet up in Entebbe, Uganda, and then we're going to go down to Ethiopia and then over to Kenya to train pastors and Christian leaders in all three of these areas uh, in the gospel of life, uh, teaching our four questions to them. And we're meeting some people from Zambia who will be joining us there And we're going to be specifically mentoring and preparing them to carry on this training throughout much of Africa as we're seeing these four questions trained around the world. You might want to know why Africa. Uh, Here is a visual aid that shows fertility rates throughout the world, this fertility map. And you can see at a glance that there's really only one place in all the world today that you can still call uh, a place that, that promotes the culture of life. And that is in Africa, where the children are still considered largely uh, their treasure, their what makes them rich, uh, the sense of family and marriage. These are still fundamental parts of the culture there. It's also interesting that for this reason, I consider Africa in many ways to be the last hope on earth in terms of of becoming missionaries to the world and reinstituting a culture of life. On the other hand, this same map is used to uh, motivate the United Nations, Planned Parenthood, the World Health Organization, and many, many other globalist organizations to target Africa. For them, this is where the problem lies. They're still having too many babies. And over the last 20 years especially, there's been enormous amounts of pressure on many African countries to liberalize their uh, abortion laws. And <coughs> excuse me, in this quick video, you can see that there's a, a 20-year Uh, flow from very conservative, very pro-life to more and more and more legalized abortion in many parts of Africa today. So we're going over there to defend these laws and to mobilize the church to take a stand. As grieved as I am about what's happening in California now and other states that have just legalized child killing up to the moment of birth, I'm excited to go to a place like Africa where the church still is ready to take a stand, still ready to fight. They're not afraid to open up their mouths and say, no, life is precious to us. So we want to go there and equip them and show them how they can train literally hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people over a brief period of time to value human life, to reject abortion, to proclaim God's forgiveness to those who are suffering from the grief and the guilt of abortion, and begin to organize further efforts to rescue mothers and their unborn children. So we're excited to go. And this last picture here shows you all the places that Passion Life's team has traveled just in 2022. We've been to Mexico twice. We've been to Cuba four times. We've been to Guatemala, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Colombia three times. We've been to India and we've been to Vietnam. And now we're going to Africa. So if you want to get involved with something that has direct worldwide impact, I really encourage you to join the fellowship that is Passion Life. We're going all over the world. We're going to the neediest places in the world. We're teaching in a way that you can create movements of life. And uh, we're excited about these opportunities. 3% of abortion worldwide occurs in the United States. That makes abortion 97% a, a, a world missions challenge. So let's continue to fight the good fight here in the States, but let's become a world missions movement. Learn more about Passion Life at our website, passionlife.org. And if you want to jump in and help out, we're headed off to Africa, and we love your prayers, and we love your support. God bless.
Thank you for tuning into these updates on how the gospel of life is penetrating into the neediest places in the world to rescue the innocent and uh, to train up the church to be that voice. I'd really encourage you to join our movement uh, to stand for life and the, to turn pro-life into a world missions movement. Please consider joining our support team, our prayer team. Visit passionlife.org and make a donation today. I think that it will be very satisfying. Thank you.